Hi, welcome to Rusty Lizard Designs, a unique shop experience. Looks like I got a new treasure in from Grizzly. I think I know what this is, but let's open this box and see what I got in today. So today's adventures of the Rusty Lizard is a box opening from Grizzly. Ah, uh, here we go. That's what I was expecting. This is from I Gauging. It's the Easy Planer Precision Draw. Draw meaning digital readout. That's what DRO stands for, digital readout. So this is a digital readout kit for my DeWalt 735 planer. So it looks like I've got a hardware kit extra battery and a clear lens of some sort, the destruction manual, and the actual digital readout and scales and associated wiring. Uh, the feel of this is very solid and heavy. I mean, it's, um, it's not plastic. Every, all these parts are metal. Uh, that this rolls up and down on. So this is going to be great. I can attach this to my DeWalt planer and I can do a couple things with this. I can zero this digital readout at the bed level. So um, if this is reading zero, then there's zero inches between the bed and the blade. And then when I move up, move that planer bed up off the bed or move that cutter head away from the bed, this digital readout will precisely tell me how high I'm going off the bed. Or I can plane up some wood, get it to the thickness that I want, zero this device out at that thickness, and then I can start running things through the planer and cut them down to the exact thickness of this. So there's gonna be very beneficial uses for this. Um, this will allow me to plane wood and not have to constantly check it with a, um, a dial caliber or an electronic dial caliber or something like that. So welcome to the Rusty Lizard shop. Um, today I'm sure we're going to have a tail separating adventure. I'm going to take this new digital readout or DRO um, that I purchased from Grizzly and it was $56. They were having a Black Friday sale. I think this is uh, the sale price is good until the December the 3rd. So if you want one you might want to get in on that pretty quick. Um, so I've got my instruction manual and I've got everything laid out. I actually brought the planer in the house today and it's pretty cold out there this morning in Kentucky. It was, uh, I think 18 when I woke up, it may get up to 30 today, but I decided to do this, uh, in the house and, uh, where it was warmer, where I had my lighting, my cameras and all that type of stuff. Didn't have to worry about cold fingers. This is on a mobile base that rolls, and it just was absolutely no problem to just roll right into the house. and it just was absolutely no problem to just roll right into the house. I've checked all my um, parts to make sure everything was here that's supposed to be, and they are. The instructions are uh, fairly simplified, have great color pictures, and hopefully the uh, printed instructions actually are logical. I'm not really sure yet, but the first step, step one, remove the red cursor 
and install the mounting bracket in the same taps using the bracket, double washer, four millimeter screws, and then leave those loose. So let me get this existing bracket off of here. Now it says to install this bracket double washer and four millimeter screw here in these same clips or these same tapped holes rather and it says to leave them loose so there's going to be some adjustment in the near future I believe well that was a mess so I just snug those up just a little bit Okay, so the first part of step two is get this bracket mounted to the side of the digital readout. All right, I figured out that I just needed to chase those threads a little bit. Um, so I'm going to um, get these washers and these little knurled nuts installed on the side of this row. And I may have to get my Leatherman to uh, Snug those up a little bit when needed. No, they're coming in fine now, so that's good. So this is what I'm doing right here, this section of it. Or actually, I'm doing this part right now, mounting this to the side. Oh my gosh. So that's snug so it can move up and down independently at this point. Then attach the assembled unit on the DeWalt yellow rule as shown below using the tape and the spacers. The sheet metal back, so this part here, should align with the left edge of the yellow rule. The bottom cap screw should be about a quarter inch below the zero mark on that rule. The instructions want us to use spacers and double stick tape uh, to put a couple of blocks in here and then mount the sheet metal and the backing of the digital readout against that. Um, so there's a, I don't know if you can see that, there's an inset right here where it drops in and then you have the yellow rule and then it can, bumps back out here. So I've got this area that is pushed out further uh, than this central section, and that's why they've included some spacers. So I guess they want you to put the spacers in there, and then this is going to stick to the back of this piece of sheet metal, and then it will mount in like that. So this planer's already been in service for a few months in my shop, and because of that, there's probably going to be some dust and things on the scales that, that come off with the air air hose. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little alcohol, just plain old paper towel and some alcohol, and I'm going to clean the surface where I'm going to be sticking that double stick tape to. Um, I see a little dust on here. It wasn't too bad, but it's always good when you're dealing with the uh, adhesives to make sure those surfaces are nice and clean. So now I got to watch and align the <clears throat> edge of this with the edge of that, and then make sure that the screw is about a quarter inch below the, the zero mark there. Oh, lovely. I just took off the zero mark with, uh, with my alcohol. So let's just get another one established. And that's how you establish a quarter inch below the zero. All right, so let me get this in here. Yeah, that stuff is really sticky. 
So you want to get it close before you bear down on it. Because it looks like once you get it set, it's going to be on there. I don't want to push on this because that's the actual optical scale that this slides up and down on. So I don't want to bend that. So I've got to make sure I'm pressing um, on the sheet metal where that spacer is. And then the other one is here because I don't want to bend the scale itself. All right, well, that's how that goes. For securing the side lever to the mounting bracket with the six millimeter screw and the hex nut. Then tighten all screws before calibrating the digital. Okay. We can do that. Got the battery installed in here i'm not using usb at the moment i've put a couple of one two three blocks in here with the one inch side facing um, so what i'm going to do is i've got this thing pretty close to calibrated with the one inch blocks what i really need to do now is plane some wood and then check it against my calibration and my dial indicators my handheld dial indicators um, but as you can see the surface is down on the one, two, three blocks, the one inch here, I'm at one inch there. So theoretically, when I take this back out to the shop, I should be able to plane a piece of wood and the actual thickness of the piece of wood should actually show up here. Um, and then I will verify that with a set of, of uh, dial indicators, uh, dial calipers, just to make sure that this reads what this does versus the actual thickness of the wood. Four zero there. Make sure these are zeroed out. Those are zeroed. One point seven four six five. I'm very happy with the results. I set the planer to cut at one point seven four zero, and it looks like there's a five on there. After I ran that board through the planer. The board actually measures at 1.7465, and you can see both of those on the screen. The difference between those two measurements is 0 0.006, so it's three decimal places. To put that in perspective, 1 32nd of an inch equals 0 0.03125. 1 64th of an inch equals 0 0.015625. And 1 1 28th of an inch equals 0 0.00781. So as it's calibrated now, my tolerances are better than 1 1 28th of an inch. I think that's good enough for cutting a piece of wood. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks a lot.